learn programming skills welcomes you to another special video and in this particular video i want to share with you some useful keyboard shortcuts we can have on our fingertips whenever we get access to command prompt window and these keyboard shortcuts are going to boost our usage and productivity in terms of command prompt usage so without any further explanation let's dive in and explore this keyboard shortcut now our first keyboard shortcut in this video is the alt key and the enter key now let's open the command prompt and see how this keyboard shortcut is going to work now whenever you open command prompt that might be different depend on how you work with command prompt i have my command prompt window shown in the restored window so yours might be in the maximize window that is going to cover the entire screen since i have this as the restored window whenever i use the alt key and the enter key this is going to maximize this particular window and that is going to fully cover the desktop background and when i hold this keyboard shortcut again this is going to bring back this open window in the restored form so this is our first keyboard shortcut in this video the next keyboard shortcut is how to increase the size that is the font size of the command prompt window and also the buffer so when i hold the control key and use the scroll wheel on the mouse you can see that i am increasing the size of the buffer and also the font size of the command prompt window and when i scroll down you can see i am decreasing the buffer and also the font size of command prompt so control plus the scroll wheel on the mouse that is moving up increase and then moving down decrease whilst the control key is pressed down on the keyboard so control plus scroll wheel helps you to increase the font size and also the buffer of the command prompt window now our third keyboard shortcut is control plus c when i have this command typed into this path or command line now you can see that this command line or this path i have this command which is cd desktop when i hold ctrl plus c this is going to abort this particular command and that is not going to take effect so anytime you have a command typed into a command line or any path within the command prompt window and you want to abort that particular command you can easily hold ctrl plus c without pressing the enter key and that is going to abort that command easily for you in command prompt window now to move to our next keyboard shortcut i'll urge you to stick around in this video because at the end i will show you one bonus tip that can also help you as a command prompt user now we are moving to our next keyboard shortcut that is the insert key on the keyboard this helps you to overwrite some existing text in command prompt window and before then let me type some command in this command line let's assume that i have this command in this command line and i want to override this i can move this cursor to the beginning of this command and then press the insert key on the keyboard and when i start to type You can see that this existing command has been overwritten by this current command i have typed in the command prompt window so anytime you want to overwrite some command or to make some a little adjustment to some command you can position your blinking cursor which is this particular cursor to wherever you want to overwrite then you press the insert key on the keyboard and the moment you start to type this current command is going to override these existing commands in command prompt our next keyboard shortcut is the control key and the left arrow key and the right arrow key now i have my cursor blinking here when i hold the control key and the left arrow key this is going to jump west by west to the beginning of this command and when i hold control and the right arrow key this is also going to jump to the end of this command this helps you to navigate through the commands that have been typed in the command line of a particular path and that helps you to get access to a particular position and make some adjustment to your available commands so that is control plus the left arrow key and the right arrow key 
our next keyboard shortcut is control plus the insert key and also the shift key plus the insert key this keyboard shortcut helps you to copy and paste command to a different command line let's assume that i want to select these two informations here which are john and jane i can use the shift key and the left arrow key to select this information and when i hold control plus the insert key on the keyboard and i'm going to abort this command with the control plus c now this is the current line and let's assume that i want to create a folder i can type md and press the space bar and if i hold the shift key and the insert key this is going to paste these informations i copied from this command line to this current line therefore when i press the enter key this is going to create these directories on my desktop background interface so control plus the insert key is used to copy and the shift key plus the insert key is used to paste any copied command or information within the command prompt window this moves us to the next command line which is control plus c and control plus v these commands also work similarly to the control plus the insert key and the shift key plus the insert key therefore currently i have this copied item in the clipboard if i want to still copy these commands in this command line i can hold control plus a and that is going to copy only this section in this command line therefore when i hold control plus c and i'm going to press enter key now when i get to this line i can hold control plus v and that is going to paste this particular command in this command line so control c control v helps you to copy and paste commands within command prompt window let's assume that you have this command line and currently we have no command in this path we can use our next keyboard shortcut that is the up key and the down key when i press the up key this is going to reveal all the previous commands typed and as usual when i press the down arrow key that is also going to reveal all current commands in a command path but currently we have only this command available let's assume that i type another command or two or more commands in this command line anytime i use the up and also the down key that is going to help me to review all these previous commands in case i want to have some modifications to these commands i can do so this is an easy way to get access to your current and also previous commands now this takes us to the next command and that is the alt key and the space bar this command helps us to reveal the hidden file menu of command prompt where we can restore move size minimize maximize close edit and also have some settings applied to this command prompt window using the default tab and also the properties tab so anytime you want to access the hidden file menu of command prompt you can use the alt key and the space bar and that is going to help you to do so now i promise you in the middle of this video that you should stick around and i'm going to showcase you a particular bonus and this particular bonus is the escape key on the keyboard whenever you have some options or a menu displayed within the command prompt window you can use the escape key on the keyboard to cancel and now you can see that the hidden file menu has been cancelled out from this command prompt window if i click this reveals escape this cancels another way to use the escape key is whenever you have some command typed into the command line of command prompt assuming this line i'm going to type some commands when i hold the escape key whilst these commands are available that is going to cancel this particular command this works similarly to the control plus c but the control plus c aborts the command and display a new command line but in this case in this current command line the escape key is going to cancel that particular command so these are some of the keyboard shortcuts you can have them on your fingertips as a command prompt user and that is going to help you and also better the usage of command prompt